Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, Christmas Word, truthfully and sincerely. Uh, shalom unto the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christmas Word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom unto the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird. Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely, and I say shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a, another quick sit-down lesson in the news on this uh, Thursday afternoon, December the 9th, 2021. And I'm going to bring out this news article right here. And this is from TheHill.com. And this was from, uh, posted yesterday, I believe. And the highlight of this news article, and it says, The Wave of... 40 earthquakes in 24 hours rocks northwest it says the northwest i mean uh the national weather service announced on tuesday there has been a swarm of earthquakes off the oregon coast with a strong one hitting 5.8 magnitude it says oregon experience a series of more than 50 earthquakes all range in magnitude this week but experts say the sem the semitic activity is nothing to be alarmed about it says the national weather service uh, announced on tuesday that there have been a swarm of earthquakes off the coast of oregon coast with the strongest one a magnitude of 5.8 however agency says the earthquakes were considered common in that area a little water was displaced meaning there is no risk of tsunami and it says uh, a series of earthquakes began tuesday afternoon to 200 and 250 miles off the coast of newport oregon two earthquakes will have the magnitude of 5.3 and 5.5 occur around 1 30 p.m and 2 p.m wow and tuesday with two more magnitudes and a 5.8 earthquake hitting several hours later wow and another 5.8 came along just before 5 30 and a multiple small numbers of active shock continue into tuesday evening wow so you know i'm not going to read all of this article but you know it's showing signs of uh you know the earthquake in you know the earthquake in diverse places are uh, starting to increase you know, as I was reading through the article, it says in the span of uh, 30 minutes and about a couple of hours later, it had like a 5.0 and a 5.8. And then two hours later, you know, it was another uh, 5.8 magnitude earthquake. So, you know, these are the signs of the times that we are living in and the increase of uh, earthquakes in diverse places. And that's another scripture I'm about to bring out just to close out this uh uh, lesson, you know, even though it's just a quick sit down lesson that I, you know, wanted to bring out as you continue to see more in, in increase of these uh, earthquakes throughout the whole planet Earth, not just uh, here in North America, but around the world as well, too. You're going to continue to see more of a uh, more high damage of uh, earthquakes. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6, and it reads, Thou shalt be visit of the Lord of hosts with thunder and earthquakes and great noise and storms and tempests and the flames of the power of fire, right? That's why you see more increase of the virus of fire, more increase of uh, heavy floodings and storms, more of great noise around the world and heavy earthquakes that cause a lot of damage in the 6.0 range, 7.0 range, uh, 7.1, 5.8. You know, and these uh, these are the signs of the times that we are living in. You're going to expect to see more an increase of these things in the times ahead that we are living in. So, you know, that's all I wanted to bring out through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha. And, you know, this was a, you know, a little quick sit down, brief news article in the news on this Thursday, uh, November, the, I mean, December the 9th, I meant to say, Salaki. And about, you know, you're going to see more of us signs of this to come a time ahead in the times that we are in, you know, it's going to uh, show in a high increase of these earthquakes in diverse places and increase in storms and floodings, you know, all around the world, you know, 
in the times that we are living in. So with that, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash, double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely, and shalom unto the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely, and shalom unto the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom.